Wolf is attempting to re-enter the city of Boreal Town, Botan. We are busy preparing another defense. The enemy has cut our supply lines, which must be rebuilt at all costs. A convoy of munitions is en route to our forward firebase north of the city. The convoy must reach the firebase in order to provide a safe resupply point for our four troops to the south. You are to meet the convoy at Nav Delta, taking over from the previous escort unit. Escort the convoy to the firebase at Nav Epsilon. Planet Geography will make combat difficult, however, no enemy interdiction forces have been reported in the area, and long range scans report nothing. Yeah. That would be a twist, wouldn't it? Have something like 10 15 minute escort mission where nothing happens. Okay, escort the convoy to the fire, plan fire base. Destroy all enemy units. Destroy targets of opportunity. And the dust subside. Sakan van der Van Chistu listened as the Falcon Scout reported the progress of Ulrich and his star. Everything was in place. Ulrich seemed to have fallen for the trap, and now nothing would be able to stop Chistu's plans. He thought back to the conversations he had with the Count Crichel just over an hour ago. Crichel thought that challenging Ulrich had been a mistake. If Chis too were defeated, the wolves would win the trial of refusal and everything the Falcons had fought for would be for naught, the aging Falcon Khan had said. The Grand Council might even elect a wolf as Il Khan. Crichel had ra raved as usual. Chisu calmed the older Khan and assured him that every precaution had been taken to ensure that Ulrich could not win. Chisu was shaken from his thoughts when a scout reported that Ulrich's star was making its way into the Metistrace's area. He quickly punched the buttons to the left of his communication console and focused his attention on the small monitor screen above his executioner's instrument array. The monitor showed the running fights that were so common during urban engagements. Mechs darted in and out of streets and buildings, leaving destruction in their paths. He watched intently as the wolf star entered view. Ulrich was as good as a, a mech warrior as the clans produced, perhaps one of the best. But precautions had been taken, precautions that would ensure victory for the Falcons. Yes, soon the refusal war would end, and Sakan van der Van Chistu of the Jade Falcons would emerge as the ultimate victor. He would kill Ulrich Kerensky, leader of the Wolf Clan, leader of the Wardens, architect of the Truce of Takayid. All the glory Kerensky had gained would fall to van der Van Chistu, and the Sakan would become the logical choice to lead the clans to victory on Terra. In the situation, as wolf omnifighters streaked out of their dropships towards the city of Burial Town, the city seemed to come to life. Beams of ruby, emerald, and sapphire light stabbed into the sky, and soon the sound of explosions rocked the night. Within minutes, small spots of bright orange flame appeared in the darkened city streets, marking the spots where the fighters' bombs had struck. In the rolling hills outside the darkened city, waves of wolf dropships landed and unleashed their cargo of mechs. Within minutes, wolf omnipotent mechs had reached the city and began to slug it out with the falcon mechs that had hid behind the empty buildings and darted through the narrow avenues. In the middle of the chaos, a star of wolf mechs circled one of their own and made their way into Boreal Town. But a group of mechs made little resistance as they made their way to the heart of the city. The area was built on the highest point in the city and provided a spectacular view of the once thriving metropolis, but the mech warriors did not notice. Then they reached a ring of buildings and encountered a lone jade falcon executioner. They had found their prey. It's uh, without a doubt a trap, but... They can, if a group of mechs would found a heavy mech on its own, even if it's a trap, there's a good chance they can, at least in this game, you could easily take it out before you would be 
he would be dead. So it's very risky to use yourself as bait. <laughs> a star mage. Uh, escort duty. So we want something with speed. Uh, two timberwolves. Timberwolf. I want something with missiles. These guys are. I don't want to give them PPCs. They're extremely inaccurate with them, and if we're escorting a convoy, I'm fearing that they'll shoot basically their convoy themselves. So no PPCs. Three SR airmen might be good. Can I? Can't do this here. I need to go to the mech Warhead. map and make a variant for myself first. Timberwolf. Yeah, I like this one, but I want to exchange PPCs to long range missiles. This is would be uh, good for someone supporting us. Maybe a little less streaks, a little more ammunition. Again, we don't need long range missile 20s, we need just something. And tens might be good enough. It's more of a. You want to have ammunition available. Let's add and Want all the weapons to have two tons of ammunition. With the short range missiles, that's quite a lot. There's no reason to have heat sinks on a build like this. Nothing's using them. I'd like to have some kind of an energy weapon. So we wouldn't have to rely entirely on the missiles. They'll run out of at some point. So uh, a couple of pulse lasers, I guess. Uh, maybe even one, just something. I do want to rely on those missiles for the most part, especially the long range ones. Yeah, that's quite a significant uh, amount of ammunition for them. It's a ridiculous amount of ammo. This, if this, if this mech gets hit in any kind of critical way, it's going to blow up immediately. There's so much ammunition to it. Yeah. Where's the pulse later? Can I put it here? We want. No, I don't want to put ammunition in the legs. Don't. I really, really don't. Yeah, this is uh, one gigantic explosion waiting for ha happen. <laughs> I put ammunition in the legs to. Yeah, if these get exploded away, it's not the end of the world, but the ammunition, yeah. This is a powder cake waiting to explode. Mm. Timberwolf. Yeah, that's a great make for you. They're they're not bad at using missiles, not at all. As long as it's not PPCs. Warhammer. I want the uh, I want the PPCs. Although I might want to give myself a try at this. How terrible could it possibly be? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll I'll give it a shot too. So we're. Uh, Pack full of missiles this time. And the mission was escort the convoy. What could possibly go wrong? Planet, Voltan, and the
Temperature 02.64 degrees. Local time is 23.45.12 GST. All systems nominal. Multiple hovercraft and uh, your enemy mix. Uh, friend unit. Target is beyond inspection radius. Nav Delta reached. Incoming message. Friendly make unit requests escort duty transfer. Naturally, the bastard won't tail against the enemy. No, attack him. No, attack him. He's gonna eat a lot of missiles. Come on, die, you bastard. Point two reports target destroyed. Point two attacking our target. Exactly, leave the other. Yeah. Point two, attacking your target. Chain fire engaged. Enemy mech destroyed. I want to hit the trucks. Target's an opportunity, but there possibly be secondary objective. Destroy all enemy mech units. Successful. Point two reports target destroyed. Satellite link established. Where do we need to go, Zeta? No, oh, the setup was actually quite useful. We would have still have a ton of missiles left. So not at all bad, and we didn't take. We hardly took any damage. So I think this is a strong setup as long as your ammunition lasts, but after that you're fucked. Well naturally it is, but it has such a large
large amount of ammunition that's very unlikely to run out uh, in a mission like this. But on the other hand, if the enemy gets into close quarters and causes criticals to us, we're going to explode because of our own ammunition. Uh, we probably should invest in a case to prevent ammunition internal explosion. I didn't even notice if we had one or not. Doesn't matter now. Something to check. I do like this. Very easy. Nav Zeta reached mission successful. Yeah, the convoy has reached the far base in Terra. The munitions are now being unloaded. The mission was a success. After performing the Pachal with Ulrich Kerensky, Chistu prepared his ambush. First, he separated two stars of Omnimex from the cluster he had stationed in Poreal Town. Then, Falcon Techs reconfigured the mix for use as missile batteries. Yeah, I like that, I like that kind of thinking. Mix took positions in a plaza three blocks behind the magistrate area where the two mech warriors planned to duel. As soon as Ulrich and the wolf mechs appeared, these two fed the hidden Falcon Star's telemetry on Ulrich's position. Before the wolves recognized these two's treachery, the hidden Falcon mechs sent flights of long range missiles at the Ulrich's cargo, destroying the mech and the adjacent wolf mechs. Then Chistu finished off the remaining wolf 